For a drive. Ooh, tires are cold. <laughs> what are the tire temps, by the way? Tires are 55 degrees. Alright ladies and gentlemen, thank you and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Look at that beautiful view of right behind us, super absolutely amazing. I love it. Even though it is about 40 degrees outside, we're out here shooting videos. But what we got in store for you today is I'm going to do a full mod overview on what's been done to my 2020 Supra. Surprisingly, I haven't done it yet. Now in comparison to a lot of the other modded Supras that you see out there, not a lot has been done to the Supra or to my Supra in particular, but we're going to show you everything that's been done. Great power, amazing, absolutely love it. Now I haven't done a full review of the 2020 Supra surprisingly now I'm gonna give you guys in a future video an unfiltered thought my unfiltered thoughts on why you should get one and why you should not get one just gonna be honest with you guys but anyways let's go over the, some of the mods that are done to my soup my soup Supra so just a quick backstory on my 2020 Supra now some of you have seen my social media but I used to own a 2019 STI that was fully built with the big turbo kit and a 2018 Civic Type R both amazing cars by the way but I was driving around in my Civic Type R just looking at dealerships looking at different cars thinking about what to get next and i saw the supra sitting at the dealer with its wheels missing long story short i made a deal with the dealership and next thing you know here i am walking away with a 2020 supra now i also own a 2019 m4 cs but we'll talk about that in another video all right let's go ahead and do this small stuff first so i got these oem carbon fiber mirror caps you know these are from toyota don't really recommend them to be honest with you they're like super overpriced they're like 400 bucks a piece from toyota you can get better ones on the aftermarket for a fraction of the price and let's see behind that we got the various engineering wind buffeting deflector thing on bobbers those are about a hundred bucks you can get them for so much cheaper or different versions for about 10 bucks on amazon which i know a lot of people do to do the same job that takes care of that wind buffeting that is, that the super is known for about 50 miles an hour with your windows down now let's go on to the rear rec speed duck bill carbon fiber rear spoiler i really like the spoiler just don't know i'm just debating on if i should go with the bigger wing or not i really like the a90 delta wing i'll put a picture on it on the screen of what i'm looking to get uh, but other than that you know it's just a nice clean look really really enhances the look of the rear end on the Supra and I know a lot of people have it but it's just a clean looking rear wing now going down actually let's take care of this real quick blacked out super emblems I got these on eBay they're about 15 bucks a piece this gets rid of the OEM chrome um, super badge and also the blacked out GR badge gets rid of the rid of the chrome on the outer per portion of the GR badge but not I'm not a big fan of chrome guys but also looking down is you got this keys carbon fiber rear diffuser you now mixed feelings on it i don't know if you like it you like it you know cool if not i'll put a link down in the description for that but really gives the you know rear end a nice good aggressive look I mean, it's full wrap around rear diffuser pretty cool now moving on to the front one of my favorite exterior pieces on the front end is this rec speed front lip this is not something i recommend if you're super duper low one because of the price this lip is about oh i dropped my pen about a thousand dollars and one it does hang super low so if you are really really low you know expect to buy another lip or expect to damage this front lip also i got these uh, bumper carbon fiber garnishes these are from olm now the the top ones i recommend now this bottom part i don't know i just feel that you could probably live without it but you know it's up to you but these are not really cheap they're about 400 bucks a piece so i'll put a link down in the description for that but it really gives the uh, bumper a nice aggressive look in my honest opinion also we got this amber delete deflectors i got those on i think it's an a90 shop uh, for about 100 bucks or so it gets rid of that amber reflector that's in the front next up these fenders are from rec speed now mixed feeling on this i highly recommend you go with the evs fenders which are the real these are replicas of the evs fenders now these are carbon fiber i do plan on getting it painted i just never got around to it to be honest with you um, but i do feel that from what i've been hearing on the internet and talking to other people that the 
the direct speed, not direct speed, but the EVS fenders fit much better. As you can see, I just got this nasty gap right here that there's a little bit of wiggle room, but it's, it's not enough to close up that gap. Also, one thing I almost forgot to mention, front end paint protection film, something I highly recommend because the paint is pretty soft on these uh, Supras. So recommend you actually investing some of that money. I know it's not cheap in paint protection film, at least on the front clip. And of course, as far as the wheels, these are Titan 7 TS5s. I will put the specs of these wheels on the screen. So if you guys have questions on what the specs are, it'll be on the screen for you. Probably right about now. So let's talk about one of the most noticeable mods on my interior. Now, keep in mind, I don't have much, uh, but it is this OLM, car not carbon fiber, but Alcantara steering wheel. Something that I don't really recommend if you're not dealing, if you don't want to deal with the maintenance of Alcantara. Now, I usually wear gloves when I drive uh, the Supra, and so far, the steering wheel, the integrity of the Alcantara has been holding up just fine over the past year I've had the steering wheel. But so far, so good. I really don't like the OEM steering wheel. And this is just, you know, a nice, simple, clean looking steering wheel. I would say it's an OEM plus type, um, which is really the, you know, the look I'm going for overall when it comes to the Supra. It's just an OEM plus type of uh, look. So I don't want to just go too overboard when it comes to mods, especially when it comes to the interior. I usually like to keep my interior nice and simple. Next up, I have this Passport Max 360C radar detector that has saved me multiple times, you know, when I'm cruising, you know, 65-ish miles an hour on the highway. Um, but so far, so good. You know, there are all, there are better radar detectors out on the market, but this is just what I have. It actually came with the car when I bought it, so I just haven't had the need to replace it so far. It's worked good so far. And up top, which you can't really see, that is a dash cam, which so, a dash cam I don't really recommend. It's from a company called VIOFO. Now, as far as a phone mount solution, I have this charger and dock from ProClip. Not something I really recommend because only because of the price and the way it looks. Now, I have tried a couple of chargers from Amazon that are in black color. Now, this white color, just this white charger from uh, Apple just look, it just sticks out um, so far in this black interior, which is probably the main reason why I don't like it. But as far as functionality, yes, it works very well, charges your phone pretty fast. I'm looking for a better solution right now for my phone. I just want one that's nice and magnetic without having to deal with any mounts. I just wanna stick it on there and be done with it. So I'm on the lookout. If you guys know of anything better than this that I that's magnetic, please let me know down in the description below. I'm willing to try out pretty much anything out right now. I just wanna get rid of that. Next up, let's talk about engine performance modifications. Double click. Damn, it looks super clean, love it. Something that you cannot really see under that Varus Engineering heat shield is the Pure 700 Turbo. Now, the more popular turbo from Pure is the 800. I have the 700, which, you know, sadly they don't sell anymore, but really not big of a power difference between the 700 and 800 from Pure, but the car still made great power. 550 wheel horsepower on pump gas. The car has a lot more potential, has potential to make a lot more power. But, you know, we'll talk about that in just a minute on why. We only made 550, but still 550 wheel horsepower on this car is still a lot of fun. All right, so moving on, FTP charge pipe, which is more for preventive maintenance. You wanna get rid of that stock charger, not charge, but stock plastic charge pipe. MST intake, the full intake, and with the clear cover, I love the way it looks with that clear cover. Carbon fiber engine cover, which doesn't have the oil filler cap hole, which is okay, because when you're changing the oil anyways, I mean, you're gonna have to take off the uh, um, engine cover anyway, so really not a big deal for me. So carbon fiber right here over the radiator. I do wanna get the full carbon fiber um, thingamabobbers that go on the side, but that's for a future video. I think I got this one from FT Speed and the uh, full carbon fiber ones. I think you can get it on A90 Shop or Speed Industry. Also one mod that you can't really see is the Visconti Tuning Flex Fuel Sensor. Actually, you can see the fuel line right there. So I do have a flex fuel kit installed, but we can't put ethanol in the car yet only because I am on the stock fuel system. Now, if I do want to run, run E85, we got to upgrade the fuel system. That means, you know, port injection, upgrading the fuel pump. That is kind of pricey. 
And once we do that, we'll, we'll be able to make a lot more power than the original 550 on pump gas because we will be on E85. Plans to come. Um, transmission is still stock. I don't have a transmission tune as of yet. Uh, but when you're making that much power, you know, plan on doing a transmission upgrade. And that is not cheap. So probably one of the main reasons why I haven't, you know, bothered with going with port injection just yet. But I do plan on doing so in the future. Also, one thing I didn't mention on the exterior, the car is lowered on HKS adjustment springs you know the car can go a little bit lower but there's a reason why I haven't you know um, lowered the car more than it is right now but um, just recommendations from some of the track guys that do track the Supra is not to dump this car super low but the car handles great it's a little bit tail happy uh, but other than that you know the car is absolutely amazing I'm in love with it we'll be doing a future video on my thoughts on my ownership experience on the 2020 Supra why you should buy one why you shouldn't so I'm gonna be blatantly honest with you guys you know some of you might like might not like what I have to say now something in the rear I didn't mention we actually have a boost logic exhaust now this is something I don't recommend to be honest with you one is because the price and the actual quality of the piping you know to me really isn't all that great because I already had this exhaust crack on me I guess it's time for a new exhaust but it is what it is four to six days later All right, first look at the FL5 next to the FK8. As you guys know, I used to own a FK8. It's, wow, the difference between the two side by side, it's a huge difference. I know there are people in front, but you guys get the point. But I really like how uh, the new FL5, it just looks nice and clean. I, I really do love the look in person. But you know, the FK8 the, is more aggressive. This one is, just looks clean. I don't know. Um, I think I like the rear end. Yeah, the rear end looks cool too. But nice, look at the contrast between the uh, the rear between the FL5 and the FK8. I don't know, does the uh, FL5 just look a little bit more, I don't know, mature? <laughs> the stock wheels on it look really good. I really like it, I really like it. So just a quick look, I know there's been a lot of videos on this already, but um, FL5 or FK8, which one do you guys like better? Um, but anyways, uh, that is it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. You guys supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. But anyways, you guys are awesome. Stay awesome. We'll talk to you guys later. Look at that view. Amazing. Peace out, guys.